In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your high quality videos straight out of After Effects, but keep a reduced file size. So let's get right into the video. So once you're finished with your video editing process inside of Adobe After Effects, when you wanted to export the video, you would typically go composition, add to render queue, go through all of these different settings, go into lossless, select QuickTime, and then you can go ahead and select the output to. And if we render this, when you go into your finder after you've rendered it, if you look at the video file size, this is one gigabyte in size and it's only a seven second video. But the problem is if you start reducing the settings right inside of Adobe After Effects, then yes, you'll reduce the file size, but the quality will be severely impacted. You'll get a 100 megabyte video, but the problem is it will look like garbage. So this is where we need to go ahead and we need to use Adobe Media Encoder to get that high quality export with a lower file size. So we'll go back to our composition. We'll go composition, add to media encoder queue. That's gonna load up Adobe Media Encoder. And if you don't have Adobe Media Encoder installed on your computer, then I would really recommend doing so. Adobe Media Encoder is also really good at batch exporting. So if you've got multiple different compositions inside of After Effects and you need to export them at the same time, then Media Encoder is also going to help you with that. Now, once you're inside of Adobe Media Encoder, you just want to go to the first setting. So we'll press this H.264. And that's going to load up an export window that looks very familiar to Adobe Premiere Pro. So we can go into the format, select H.264. Preset can be match source high bitrate. You can select the output name and destination. So we're going to put that into our export folder. Then you want to move down to the video settings tab. You want to set your width and your height to the composition width and height, which is 1920 by 1080 in my example. We'll render at maximum depth. We'll change the bitrate encoding to CBR, and then you can increase the target bitrate up to around 30. The higher that you pull this, the higher the file size will be, but the better quality of the video file will be. And at the moment, you can see down here, there is an estimated file size of 27 megabytes. If I pull this all the way up to 50, that increases to 45 megabytes, but that's still really low. So that's a lot lower than the one gigabyte that we got from exporting straight from After Effects. So once you're happy with that, you want to press OK. And then all you have to do from here is just go ahead and press the green play button in the top right of Adobe Media Encoder. Wait a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on how big the project is. And Encoder will perfectly export that video for you. Now, if we go back into the Finder, Comp1 was our original video. This was straight from After Effects. It's a H.264 export, and this is 1.1 gigabytes. Going through Adobe Media Encoder, the video file is H.264 again. We've got a high bit rate, and this time it is 50.8 megabytes. And if we play this one back, you'll notice that we've got a high definition video. We haven't compromised the video quality for a lower file size. So there you go. The next time you want to export your compositions or your video files from Adobe After Effects, don't use the built-in render queue inside of After Effects because your video files will be ridiculously huge. Download and install Adobe Media Encoder, run the exports through Adobe Media Encoder, use a H.264 codec, and you'll have a really awesome high definition video with no quality loss. So there you go. If you found this video useful at all, then please do not forget to press that subscribe button. And by pressing that subscribe button, you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new tutorial. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.